Chief uh, Juddy and the rest of his club back in the 80s and 90s were, early 90s, were a touch greedy, though, because they had sort of five weeks of extra training sessions <laughs> annually. Eight straight grand finals, was it, Chief? Seven. 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 And then, a, and then a one off and then another one. Mm. So eight in nine years. Mm. Yeah, so that's a little bit greedy, Chief. Not really. <laughs> we worked hard for them. I didn't play them all, but we worked hard for them, Jim, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. But no, they, are, they are the memories you treasure. And ser- they seriously are. When you, you hear applause for every single touch on the training track, it's an amazing feeling. It's, it's what you worked so hard for for the previous nine months. So when you made yourself unavailable in 87, Chief, <laughs> which is what Dermot always says, does that now not so like sit badly with you? Not at all. He reckons he just... You, you lost the game. You should have won, Chief. You should have won it, and you would have helped them win it. Well, how'd they go without play? me? How'd they go, <laughs> Chief? I'll tell, I'll tell you for a fact right now, I actually got ruled out by Alan Jeans because I did a fitness test on the Thursday night at training, and I was gasping. I was going up and down. The ankle was very dodgy. Yep. And Rod Lester-Smith was doing some one-on-one with me. Snuffy was trying to get me through. He, he, he was half pushing me into the ball. Come on, mate, keep going, keep going. Mm. And I was, I was absolutely rooted. And they were just giving me contest after contest after contest. And because I wasn't uh, known for being an aerobic beast, Jim, yes. um, and it was going to be a 30-degree day on the weekend, mm. the coach just sort of said, I'm not sure we can go with you. Were you dirty on I that quite have the co- No. It's just, I mean, seriously. It was the right decision because my was ankle was, was gone. And then Dermot played on David Rees-Jones. How'd he go? And David Rees-Jones won the North Smith medal. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> when, you, when you speak to Dermot about that era and you say, you know, five-time day, five-time night, premiership superstar, he always says should have been six and it fully blames Piggy. <laughs> Is it Piggy's fault because he put himself before the club? Was well, I missed two games. I missed the prelim and the grand final. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I did it in the second semi because Soss... Uh, went to smother it and dived across my uh, my leg, and it mate, it was no good. You was were it? named though, weren't you? And, and it was yep. only the morning of it became apparent, wasn't? It? I remember being at the ground and the, it sort of swept the crowd that you're out. It was a you knew that on the Thursday, did you? I did, and uh, I actually did the warm up on game day, and Darren Pritchard warmed up in a uh, in a closed room in the sort of in the back reaches of the uh, dressing rooms. Was it a pain tolerance issue, Chief? Because you no, can, it can be a little bit sooky sometimes. Please. P- play through barriers you would never have even looked at, Duke. <laughs> but there were, uh, it's fair to say, that was back in the days where they would open the rooms and people could watch you warm up for the grand final. And I did get uh, comments from a few people afterwards saying, we watched you warm up. We're so glad you didn't play. Because I didn't have a jab to do the warm up. I would have needed multiple jabs to play. But I was like a, a busted going up and down on the spot in the warm-up. Juddy, you'd think you'd get up, wouldn't you? I mean, that, that's how sport they were. He just had played in that many that he actually didn't give a stuff. But most footballers would actually play with a leg dangling off, wouldn't they? Well, I'm looking at the Chief, and the Chief's a bit, I mean, the chief's a bit like the big brother I never had. So I'm, I'm, I'm loath to, to go too hard at him. But, but I mean, Dermot was playing with broken ribs at the time, wasn't he? That's which, a, 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 well, a hairline fracture of one rib. What you don't understand, Jim, <laughs> and, and this is what you'll never understand, Jim, is sometimes the greatest sacrifice is to not be selfish and not to think that you can do everything and think of the bigger picture. I but, think at that stage, Chief, you just thought, I've played in enough and <laughs> I'm good enough and these blokes can do it on their own. But that's my sort of reading. Had the snowboarding trip yeah. booked that, for a couple it. of spring sessions. You just thought to yourself, you know what? Maybe, in fact, I think this might have even been more rich. I reckon he might, <coughs> might have said, maybe it'll do these blokes good <laughs> to realise <laughs> that when I'm out, the thing falls apart. That, that makes and a lot of sense. Knowing the chief as we do, that, that's yeah, very honestly plausible. That. Well, let's, let, let's just cast your mind back. I have a feeling I was somewhere in the 90s in terms of goals for the season. Hadn't kicked 100 before. Do you reckon I was going to pull out? If I had the chance oh, to play, his own career. Career. Oh, was, was that just a stat that came up the top of the head then? From no, but if that doesn't <laughs> let you know how oh, much I, I would have played if I could, you got him. Wrong with it. One thing we know Nobody is that he worried. will always put himself first, Chief. No, in any no, situation, never ever. He's declared that. Uh, never ever. I, I think well, Juddie's expression there told us all we need to know, Duke. He just cannot believe a man couldn't get up to play in the grand final. Given that Dermot did. That's it. Uh, and Jim, um, that Fife last year played with a broken, oh, leg, broken leg in a prelim final yeah, just to try and get to a grand final. Exactly. And how'd they go? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, it was, it was the thought. Oh, and the lost, ca- it was the yeah. courage that that man showed. So more important to show to courage to the game. Than beaten, <laughs> he than entered give the game a chance with a broken leg. Twenty-two fit players. <laughs> you can get Please. him. You can get him on nights when Hawthorne playing a big That's final. It. He's edgy. edgy. He's edgy. Uh, the the packs assembled. Anything uh, purple out of them? Early? Yeah, they've they've loved that chat that we had with Chief. The way this rubber's bubbling along, ship off will be huge, and someone will be wearing a fried rice hat. That's uh, Ash Harvey, Chief on fire. <laughs> Trent sent that one through. If you want to keep trying to proliferate this uh, this sort of we, theme that you're trying to, I just think to run you've, with, you've keep going, up. it's all you've, good. You've dirtied up a bit tonight, Please. Chief. Duke, honestly, if you could say anything that would make me dirty up, I'll give the game away. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's a rare soft spot. Uh, it is. Yeah. I know it the eighty seven grand final is very rare. You can't yeah. get the chief anywhere near even uncomfortable in his seat. And I'm but with bring that, that up and it sort of gets him. That pack right? member, I wouldn't order any fried rice here tonight because I think <laughs> I think someone could wear a bowl of it if if there was some available to him. How many goals did Kuke in that year, Chief? Ninety seven, was it? That's thirty years ago. Right. Yeah. Fried rice that's staggering. How long ago is that? <laughs> yep. It is. And what a staggering thing that is. Not often discussed that for mine. Eight grand final appearances in nine years. What the hell's that? Ridiculous, no isn't it? No one get anywhere near that. It used to be handy every other year. Then the, the Hawks would just go and grab John Platten from yeah, South Australia it. and grab Darren yeah. Jarman. Ben and, Allen uh, from Western Tony Australia. Hall. But they were, the days, they were the days where you could go and pick any two interstate players and sign them on Form 4s. Yep. And then, well, then it began to drop. But you could just go and get two high-profile interstate players. So it was uh, made for an exciting oh, competition. Because each club would go and do it. I was going to say, other clubs could have done it too. They, well, they did it right out of the South straight. Australians, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah. They did. And the West Australians uh, for North Melbourne did a uh, very nice job too. But uh, they did, none of those clubs appeared in eight out of nine years. Mind you, uh, Chris Judd was uh, one of them as well. We go on the other way. North had a good stint in the seventies, Jim, in a row in consecutive grand yeah, finals, seventy four right. through to seventy eight, with a drawn one in between. Ron Joseph, uh, the architect of that, he, and he was a very good form four operator. Yeah, and, and a brown paper bag operator. Get on a plane and just make sure that he came back with them. <laughs> and, and an absolute magician at making it. There's happen. a lot of those guys that signed, took cars. I mean, a lot of the South yep. Australian players. Yep. And then never fronted. Rat, rat, yeah. got, rat got a car out of Carlton and never gave it back. Never gave it back. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> Gary McIntosh was a champion in South Australia. Yep. Oh, yes, I think he, he got two or three <laughs> done and then never yep. ever came over and, uh, and fronted yeah. up. I think Tony McGuinness yeah. as well. Uh, one you, might have ended up with him. How could you keep it if you weren't going there? <laughs> I don't understand. They, they ring up and they say, oh, listen, can we get the car back? Uh, no. no. <laughs> I like it. I think I'll keep it. How do you do that? <laughs> Did that didn't happen to you up at uh, Zilmere Chief when at they came Co- to... At Cooperoo. At Cooperoo. Be a pushy gym, <laughs> yeah. a little trike. And said, they didn't come to you and say, that. "Look, here's no. a Commodore." No, what was your quite. inducement to to come down? Uh, my first year, I got a ten thousand dollar contract plus match payments. Okay, massive dollars, warrior, massive. What would have been in, in the first year was eighty four, eighty five, eighty five. What would the highest paid Lee Matthews? What would he have earned that year? I couldn't even hazard a guess. Um, like two hundred grand? Would that be the nah, no, no, that much? Was somewhere between, I guess, a hundred and a hundred and thirty. Did Lethal speak to you much? Not a lot. <laughs> Didn't speak to a lot of people, Barn. He just kind of went about his business. He's a surly little critter, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he was exiting the game, wasn't he? That was his last yeah, year. That was his last year. He, so. he, yeah. And you do tend to get a little bit cranky as you're uh, sort of winding down your so career. how far into the year did he utter his first sentence to you, Chief? Because... He well, wouldn't have known about you at that stage no, coming down from no. Cooper. And you're trying to take his spot too. He's trying to hang on to a, a full forward role. Uh, I think I played in round three. So I would have played with him then. And he would have had to talk to me at some stage. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking uh, on the back of the Adelaide final. Eddie Betts kicked his 70th yes. goal for a year as a small forward. Lethal did that seven years uh, out of mm. nine years, kicked seventy plus goals as a midfield small mm. forward. Just he was, he was ridiculous. A freak. The number of goals back then that the good on ballers used to kick, they just used to run forward and they'd kick three a week. It was extraordinary stuff. But not he kicked nine hundred. Yep. In yeah. his career. Well, the other thing people don't realise, he was a rover that went and played full forward. A yeah. rover. Mm. Like he's like five foot nine and went and took hangers and played on yep. the best defenders in the game and still kicked bags. And had the ability to club people. Oh, and club them real good too. <laughs> You didn't get clubbed twice by Barn because once did the job. <laughs> didn't you get Keith Gregg in that one of those grand finals? Would have and down that end. And yep. you, I've never heard you talk about your own stats then, like you did about no, the, the ninety. The point goals. I was making was oh, if I had any chance of playing, I would have. No, I know the point you're making, yeah, but normally you don't revert, revert to that. Kick the lazy ninety plus. I think was the I think point. It was ninety seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I've known uh, the chief for a long time, and this is with he and Dermot, and we know that, no, that things aren't it's always. It's not a great good relationship. This is always the t- the sorest point. The 87 grand final because 
Dermot said, we were all carrying plenty, but one bloke refused to get to the line and cost us all an extra flag. Jeez, we picked the scab tonight. Chiefs really cracked it tonight. That's, no uh, scab there, Jig. I thought it was one of the most selfless acts I've ever committed, actually. <laughs> Particularly given I had zero input into the decision itself. <laughs> <laughs>